Hey guys, this is the Shades Podcast. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different than our round tables. This is gonna be a little bit more conversational, if you will, uh, rather than performative to speak, or I should say, but nonetheless, this is gonna be a little bit more laid back, a little bit more controversial. This is just another platform that we can use to express our opinions uh, without any type of format that uh, we should follow but nonetheless today we're going to be talking about interracial marriage it does it imagine this a city guy from dallas texas like us goes out to japan and tries to marry a traditional japanese woman which by the way i believe that that race uh as far as the japanese culture they have the least amount of divorces i wonder why perhaps it's because they marry within their race a lot right that's just something to consider and then perhaps. a black guy or a white guy from the inner city or from the suburbs tries to go out to japan to their homeland and they already know the stigmatization that's going to be surrounding them or upon them Especially if they were to try to get with a Japanese daughter. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I no, really want to see how long that's going to work out. Yes, you know, people are going to say, oh, do you have the stats for that? I don't want to embarrass you just yet. Uh, we don't have the stats on that just yet. But um, soon we will. But however, we do have the stats on these, though. Again, it's not all about stats, guys. You know, you know, we're just simply having a conversation just for us to consider certain things. But just as what you say, and I want to touch on that, Ray. You were talking about a lot of interracial marriages. Uh, they don't work out due to cultural differences. And I would certainly agree with that. Whenever we mean by cultural differences, what two races come in mind? You said cultural differences? No, no, like, whenever we say interracial couples or marriage, what, oh. what two races come in mind? White and black. White and black. I wonder why that is, though. I mean, it's, I was reading that is, yeah, it's kind this of article crazy. at work, you know, kind of and it was, why is white and black, whenever, why is white and black, whenever people think about interracial marriages, those two races come up first. So the answer is pretty simple, because back then, right, there was laws and uh, from... Uh, from white people marrying outside of the race or something like that. But there was essentially laws against that, against interracial marriage. And then they did something with that. And um, which, of course, is great. I'm not against that. So, but if we look at it now, if we look at how a white woman and whenever we see a black guy together, if we see it all the time at our job. This is just based on our observations. This is for a kid named Jaden, bro. I've been saying this, man. This is just for... Hey, shout out to my niggas <laughs> named Jaden, bro. This is just for... <laughs> on our observations, I see... I Perhaps I am judging. But a lot of the interracial couples... Uh, we had a friend. I'm not going to go to name him. But whenever he would see an interracial couple, and he knew that they were just in it for the wrong reasons, he would say, L interracial couple. <laughs> he would. He would say L interracial couple. Shout out to that boy, man. Shout out to him. <laughs> and I've been saying it ever since. No, no, no. Oh. But uh, but sometimes, you know, whatever I do see couples, yes, you know, perhaps I am judging. Yes, I probably don't know a thing about them. But just on how the way they look, we do it all the time. Mm. You can kind of tell. Could you uh, so explain a, what I mean, Ray? It's a, it's a gift and a curse, man. But explain what would you mean? Um, how one could think that, oh, they're in it for the wrong reasons. They're in it for bad reasons regarding black and black and a white couple. Like, how could we tell from the outside? or Yes, we... like, let's say they come into, let's say they're walking at the mall. You know what? Let me cut to the chase. Okay. For example, I was at the state fair, and uh, I... You know, men, we do judge on how the way a woman dresses, okay? But let's say the man is fine with that, okay? Now, typically, on how the way a woman dresses, they do present themselves as single oh, or okay. not yeah, single, we can tell from that okay. right? So, typically, the woman, and this is true, we have to agree on this. Typically, the woman who dress extremely sensual, they are not traditional women. Um, they probably have STDs. They probably have a lot of partners. That is typically the case. Yes, there are exceptions, but nonetheless, exceptions don't validate. I mean, don't invalidate the rule, right? So, all that being said, I would see a lot of white females, right. women, 
and they would dress in an extremely sensual way, right? And so, like, man, like, uh, you're fine with other men looking at you, but then again, they're going to say, well, it's not for them. It's for my boyfriend. Yeah, okay. I, I okay. 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 We're, we're not going to argue yeah, gonna... with you then. <laughs> not, not yet. I'm not going to go to that. Think uh... that. Think that however you want. And then I see the black man. Tall. I mean, he is towering over her. She's like a five foot three. LeBron. You're all right. He is tall, right, handsome. And then I say, huh, they, do they love each other? Again, I, I don't know why my mind, you know, thinks of it that way. But I see a girl who looks extremely sensual, then a very tall black man. And then I'm starting to think, is she, is she in it because she's fetishizing him? Right. Like, what is the, you know, what's the true meaning behind it? I would say so that, yes, she is. And, it kind of sucks that we think of it like that because you know they could they could be completely opposite like they can be you know completely loving towards each other you know have a genuine connection but it's it's just not likely I don't, I don't think in my opinion I just don't think it's very likely here is the thing though right and I'm already hearing the little rats in the background dee, 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 dee. they say things like wow y'all are the reason why and I'm so glad that we have rules and laws implemented into our system for thinkers like y'all, right? Who discriminate against interracial marriage. No, 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 no. We're not discriminating against interracial marriage. We are discriminating and are against interracial marriages that are in it for lustful reasons, that are in it for uh, a fetish reason, and that are in it for shallow reasons. We will definitely, most certainly discriminate against that. Why? Because we believe in the Shades podcast that there are better ways to go about finding the right partner and marrying the right partner. And unfortunately, if you are going to go after a particular race only because of certain views that you have of them, and let's just go ahead and lay those out. We'll each take turns. Um, the black man, he'll know how to handle me in bed. Go ahead, Ray. What else could these shallow, lustful, perverted women who only go after a particular race can think about? I want my kids to be tall. You know, all these. A name. Yeah. Jaden. Yeah. Name right. down. <laughs> I want uh-huh. a high skin kid named Jaden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want my kid to be tall. Dr. Usman, right? I'm sure they've heard of him. Uh, but he says, black queens forever, snow bunnies never. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and he's a hater. And I. I understand. One of his arguments was this, that uh, marriage, I don't fully agree with him. Um, but I, as far as the sole purpose, right? Because I think, I think, this is me. I think that what if his primary reason why um, his argument against interracial marriage is because marriage, it is an economic um, thing, right? And so I wouldn't say that, I would say that the sole reason why interracial marriages come together, uh, at least in regards to why they fail, is because of shallow, lustful, perverted, fetishizing reasons. Of course. Um, but now I'm even starting to think perhaps it is an economic thing for the black men, right? And I was reading the article, and then bear with me here. I'm trying to make this as fun as possible. Let's say me as, me as an Hispanic, right? Born into poverty, um, born poor. And let's say I marry or I like this Hispanic girl, but she kind of grew up in a similar environment than me. So in my mind, I'm like, man, back to square one. Right. <laughs> I, I don't want to do that. Right. Oh, right. man, that's white girl likes me. What? Uh Oh, you know what? Maybe I can upgrade in life. And the article, you know, was explaining how how um, typically whenever um, how black men, what they think in regards to not dating their own race is because, you know, they say, no, 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 the woman, right, right, the woman, they don't want to date the black man uh, because they view them as though, well, he's not going to be financially stable. He was in prison. He got into a lot of trouble. And then they're only, of course, speaking in regards to the majority of the stats that black men have to endure. And so the black men are like, all right, bet. So if the if my own kind doesn't want to ra- uh, marry me, be with me, then let me go ahead and go with the woman who fetishizes me, right? Who likes my skin color, who right, thinks right, that right. I'm going to go ahead and take control of her in bed, so that I can upgrade in life. It happens. It, it's a sad reality. It is what it is. Yeah, this is it's real shallow, you know. And uh, back to you know the the cultural thing of what you're you know touching on beforehand. Of you, you know, saying that there might be, you know, you grew up in poverty and then, you know, a different Hispanic girl, you know, grew up the same way. What we're trying to get at is, as far as the culture thing, 
it's going to be a lot harder for you to be accepted into the household if you were to, you know, I guess travel somewhere else or just go, you know, just, you know, be with a girl that didn't grow up similar to you or just had the same environment. Like, it's going to be very hard, you know, certain things that you say, you know, or things that, you know, were said in her culture, she could, you know, take a different way. And then there's just, mm-hmm. it's a mm-hmm. lot of explaining and communication and then, you know, parents accepting you in the household. And then, right. you know, you, you always want to be on the good side with the parents, of course, but I know there are some situations where they're not and, and you know, it, it sucks because, right. you know, that's like their family, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. at that point. So this is going to be like a lot of, you know, I don't know the word, man. It's just right. a lot of like differences in these classes, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. This within that's just I don't know if it's worth all of that. I don't, I don't yeah, know, I was just about to say that. So I'm gonna say, well, our love is worth it. I will. I'm gonna go ahead and endure her her uh, Japanese family not liking my black family. Right. And I really think a lot of it is just for looks too, man. Like especially oh, off rap, of course. Well, you have to be, I guess, semi attracted to someone just to approach them, but. You know, I don't really think people are really thinking about that in the back of their right, head as they're not. doing it. It's like, oh, I'm just going to find a beautiful girl and then we're just going to get married. Right. Like, there's more that goes into it, of course. And then, too, um, it's kind of like, imagine you were to bring home a white girl, okay? She's right. like white. Imagine your great and great grandparents, they were like, damn, our bloodline is lost. Like, crap. Freaking Ray ruined. Like, that's it. And then his bloodlines are never going to truly keep our African-American culture, our beautiful culture. Of course, every single culture has its flaws, every single one of them. However, the moment you date someone that is not of your race, your culture is almost completely gone. Sure, you can go ahead and instill some of your culture values into your kids, but she's also going to go ahead and do the same way. So we are just also suggesting if you have an a tiny fraction of pride of where you come from of your struggle then i would go ahead and suggest for you not to go ahead and date outside of your race again 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 but if you love someone who is not of your race then so be it then so be it may god bless you and your marriage and all that stuff i bet some people are are, are, uh, saying wow or did he really just say god after you know they were saying all this stuff right (laughs) (laughs) these guys right uh, so me, I don't know. I um, it's kind of funny now that I'm saying all this, but I'm saying you know someone can say, okay, well, what race do you want to date? Again, I don't discriminate, but that's uh, <laughs> what they're gonna be saying too. Why are y'all guys discriminate? Are we for being right now, right now, for right now, yes, an Hispanic girl, an Hispanic girl, because why? Because we understand where we're coming from. Uh, she understands that whenever I come home, right, you know, there needs to be some lemonade on the right of my plate and some um, fajitas and beans and all that stuff. You know, and the rice and all the good. She'll understand yeah, that. And then you, your wife, she's going to understand that whenever Ray comes home, uh, there is a beer on. on <laughs> we're kidding, guys. We're kidding. That no, was, when I come home, everybody needs to okay. shut up. Right, 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 right. No, I'm just joking. Right. I'm just but joking. she, forget the food part. I think in every culture, right, we don't want to go into gender roles right now. But as far as an Hispanic girl, she's going to understand where I'm coming from. She's going to understand um, that there's certain levels of disrespect as far as tone, as far as words. And that's going to be different if... Uh, and then that's going to be taken a different way as far as if I were to marry a black woman or a white girl, right? And I've kind of experienced it. And I don't know if you have, but whenever I would hear something that um, the girl who I was with, I would kind of like look, but I would have to remind myself, oh, she was brought up differently. But the Hispanic right. girl, every single time, whenever I would look at her, you know, because she'll like say some that I didn't really like, she knew what she said. But the white girl... Um, not so much the black girl, because, you know, Hispanics and blacks, you know, right? We kind of share similar ways of thinking. Um, but the, the white girl, I'm like, did you just really, like, say that? Like, it doesn't sound like you're joking, though. Right. You know what I mean? Cultural differences. So, said, as of right now. different understanding. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Where are we coming from? Our ways of thinking, et cetera, et cetera. And then, so, um, and then plus, you're going to be with this girl for years. 
I mean, get rid of that hassle of you trying to explain everything of what you take as disrespect, of what you take as attitude, of how the way uh, of uh, what values you should be instilling it into your kids. And of course, that's also your job as well. But just get rid of that hassle as much as you can by perhaps dating someone within your race. Again, we have to go ahead and say this for the dummies out there. If you fall in love with someone that's not in your race, glory be to God. So be it. Cool. But it brings me to another point. Would you agree, Ray, that culture is a beautiful thing to... Yeah. Would you agree that culture is a beautiful thing? Of course. Right. You know, they have our... We have our beautiful Asian culture, right? They bring us tremendous food, um, their, their way of thinking, their level of respect. Beautiful. Black culture, soul, live, amazing contributing to america hispanic culture um we have (laughs) it's a joke guys we have white culture um world changers (laughs) so right we have all these beautiful cultures it's a joke right and then so god right um gave us these cultures for us to admire to appreciate okay now Let's say those of you are going to say, all right, well, you know, what if she's right with God and I'm right with God, but I'm Hispanic and she's Indian. Okay, cool. But I would say that if you try to bring God into this equation, we have to have a little bit of understanding of what God likes to preserve. I think I could rightly assume that God likes to preserve culture. Don't you think? Of course, the culture will never die, but... They said that in a few or in several years that everyone's going to be mixed. Everyone is going to be mixed. And then so where does culture leave us? It's nowhere. Well, I also got to think, too, you know, not everybody's nobody's pure anything. That's true. That's true. So it kind of makes sense. Like everything will, you know, you know, drift and, you know, diverse. Everything will be diverse. So it makes sense. You know, you know, you're not fooled, you know, that I'm not fooled this, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just, it's going to spread out as well. Well, then know? maybe, perhaps I shouldn't then rephrase it then. Try to preserve it as much as possible. Yeah, of course. Right, preserve it as much as possible then. And so if you're going to go to bring God into the equation and say, okay, well, what if she's right with God and I'm right with God, but we're different cultures? Well, I would say that God likes to preserve uh, the culture that you're brought in as much as possible. And then some of you may be saying, well, my culture is going to still live out regardless who I marry. Now, what if everyone thought the same way? What if everyone thought the same way? Right. So, again, if you want to bring God into this, you would have to understand that, hey, you know, God does like culture. He created them for a reason. (laughs) 